Happy New Year. Yes, it's the year 2020. It's another year to live for our King. When I think of 2020, I think of sight. And they say perfect sight is 2020, 2020 vision. My wife has a company named Unlimited Vision. Uh, and it's, a, it's an unlimited vision, but with him, we have perfect vision. And uh, he can show us what he wants us to see. It's going to be the year of the seer. What I mean by seer is a year where God's going to show us things and we will be able to bring out in the open. Uh, we will be able to see the angelic. We, we were able to see also the demonic, which might freak some of you out. But it's going to be a year where uh, we will have open visions, dr dreams, visions, uh, signs and wonders. And we're going to, we haven't seen nothing yet. We're going to see it this year in 2020. Uh, this is the year like none before. The uh, last four or five years, people have been talking about the Seer Prophet. And I've been seeing it all over the YouTube and the internet. And uh, there's been classes on it. And there have been a lot of Seers being raised up. And a lot of people are having the Seer get. And they're seeing things in the Spirit. Uh, they're seeing, seeing what God has shown them. And they're going to bring it out, and they have been bringing it out in the open. And there's going to be more of it in the coming days, in the coming years, in this era. Yes, the seer gifts is real, and God wants to show you great, marvelous things. I think of the passage where somebody prayed, uh, "Open their eyes so they can see," and they saw a chariots of fire. Uh, they saw the ch chariots. Uh, and then there was another passage when uh, about Balin and this uh, donkey, and there was a whole uh, thing going on, uh, and if the donkey didn't warn uh, Balin, uh, he would have been dead. The donkey saw, but the Balin saw, and we need to see what uh, God has shown us. There's a world out there. There's demons. There's in angels. There's uh, principalities and powers and rulers on high places. And this is the year where we need to truly see. So, Lord, I ask you uh, to open everybody's eyes watching this video right now so they can see. Help them see what you want them to see in Jesus' name. Hello. When I think of 2020, I think of 20 times 20. Do you know there was uh, 400 years between Malachi and when Jesus came on the scene, 400 silent years, then God started speaking again. Also, there was 400 years of captivity. The Lord uh, said to uh, Abram, Abra Know certainly that your descendants will be stranger in the land that is not theirs, and will serve them, and they will flip in 400 years. And also the nation whom they served, I would judge. Afterward, they will come out with great possessions. Some of you might be in captivity right now, uh, and some uh, some of you might not be hearing God's voice. Both of these are going to happen. God's going to take you out, out of captivity. You won't be in captivity to Satan anymore, and you will hear him clearly, because he said, my sheep will hear his voice. Look for that in 2020. Well, okay, what about 20 plus 20. 2020? How about 20 plus 20? Like I said in an earlier video, uh, Jesus was tempted in the wilderness 40 days and 40 nights by Satan. Uh, a lot of you have uh, been having a spiritual battle, a big battle with Satan right now. Jesus won the battle by the Word of God, and you can win the battle by the Word of God. But when the battle is over, it's time to get out of the wilderness. And Jesus got out of the wilderness and started his public ministry. It's time for you to start your public ministry also. Okay, number two. Noah. Noah was in the ark 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, and uh, rain stopped. The storm stopped. And they got out of the 47th day. 
he got out of the, uh, uh, of the art because uh, Dub came back with an uh, olive branch. And he was told to get out of the ark. Sometimes we're in the ark of safety. Uh, we stay in the ark and the storm is over. It's time to get out, but we stay in. It's time for you to get out of the ark. Number uh, three, Elijah. And this is a very important one. Uh, Elijah was, uh, was threatened by Jezebel, a wicked, uh, wicked Jezebel, really. And uh, she was coming against the prophets of God. And uh, this is uh, 1 Kings 19. And they had told Jezebel that Elijah had done all that Elijah had done. Also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me and more also, if I don't, do not make your life as the life of one, uh, then by tomorrow, about this time, when he saw that, he arose and ran for his life. He went to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. But he, he and Sil went a day's journey in the wilderness and came and sat down under a, a, a broom tree, and he prayed that he might die, and said, It is enough now. Lord, take my life, for I am no better than father's. Then as he lay, he slept under a broom tree. Suddenly an angel touched him, and he said, Rise and eat. Then, And that's probably the first mention of angel food in the Bible. And he said, Arise and eat. Then he looked, and there by the head was a cake baked of coals and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and laid down again. The angel of the Lord came back the second time, touched him, and he said, Rise and eat, because your journey is too great for you. So he rose, ate and drank, he went and in the strength of the, uh, of the food for 40 days and 40 nights as horrid the mountain of God. There's 40 days and 40 nights again, 2020, And there he went in a cave and spent the night in, the, in, the, in that place. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? So he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, zealous for the Lord, God the host, for the children of Israel, forsaken your covenants, torn down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I am alone and left, and they seek to take me light. Then he go, uh, said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, and behold, behold the Lord passed by and a great a small, a strong wind tore in the mountains and broke the rocks and pieces before the Lord but the Lord was not in the wind and after the wind there was an earthquake but the Lord was not in an earthquake and after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice so it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in the mail and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave suddenly the voice said, came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? A lot of you are in the cave right now. Um, the, the spirit of Jezebel has put you in the cave, and you've been afraid to speak out. It's a time for you to speak out what God has shown you and get out of that cave in Jesus' name. Lord, I just pray everybody out there that is in the cave right now, we get out in Jesus' name. And... Lord, I just want to thank you for 2020. I thank you for the credible things you're going to do in 2020. And may 2020 be the most incredible year of the Lord's favor in Jesus' name. God bless you.